listen, Selena, what Victor is saying, is it true that all these parts are no longer available and we'll have to print them ourselves? He's a tech guy. He knows better. I mean, you had gripes. The robot dogs. They must be making parts for them somewhere, right? These were security-related developments. And as far as I know, they were not outsourced. So what? What's stopping us from printing our own vicious iron gripes on Victor's printer? Uh, well, to be precise, they weren't outsourced to other countries. But a lot was produced by the American private military corporation, Gryphon. All of the logistics and production cycles were run by MAI, you follow? None of us ever fully understood how it worked. It's not human logic there. What, how, where, no ideas. All we know, robot parts are produced somewhere in the States. But I seriously doubt, Ron, that we can assemble our own robo-dogs. There were some at the police station, but they all went out of service. They are useless against the exposed. Didn't the government used to drop loads on the roof of the station with parachutes all the time? Yes, but there was a lot of useful stuff there. Weapons, ammunition, medical supplies, food containers, even batteries. But there were never any spare parts for patrol robo-dogs. So Ron, if you wanted to play with Robo-Puppy, you should have thought about it earlier. You should have dumped your stupid habits before the catastrophe and joined the police. Yeah, right. As if they will take me with my backstory. Give me a break. Well, I wouldn't. But Powell, he was still a lieutenant then. He always understood people. He could. Maybe he would have seen some humanity in you. And maybe he would have given you a chance. Hmm. Well, thanks. How's it going, Victor? Full gigawatt. The machine is working. We'll soon print everything we want. I'm happy about your enthusiasm, and that you have a new toy. But I'm still more concerned about my family. Did you find out where they are? Oh, yes, right. I managed to hack into one of the police databases. And I have good news and bad news. Right. Leave all that garbage out. Spit it out. Okay. The car with those plates didn't leave Galrox. Cameras caught it moving on local roads, but not on Interstate 102. I figured out where their car might be. I've marked the area on your map. We need to check that car out. If they haven't left, something might have happened to them. 